loves. So today's video is going to be about curly hair tips and I know that I'm rocking my straight hair today. Welcome to Fab TV. These things that I've done over the years that I've tried and that have actually worked out for me so in no way shape or form am I a professional with hair. Nine times out of ten on this channel you see me rocking the curly beast and I'll insert some pictures right here of my natural curl. Wrigley is being very whiny today. He he doesn't like when mommy films, so he may be squeaking in the background or or something. So you wanna come say hi? <gasps> Wee! Say hi! Say hi everybody! Okay. Mwah. Love you. The video is not gonna really, you know, center around any group or certain products, I guess. But I'll also at the end of the video insert, you know, my favorite products that I like to use and um just to give you guys an idea. I always wash my hair in warm water. I don't ever wash it in hot water. And I rinse it in cool water, not cold, but cool. And for me the the biggest benefit from that is um it leads to less frizz in your hair. So I always do that. Cold water can actually flatten your hair. Um, and in turn, that means if you're going to style your hair curly, for example, your curls aren't really going to get enough bounce. Um, you're just going to, it'll just kind of fall flat. Uh, sometimes. Now, that's been the experience I've had with my hair in rinsing in cold water. I wash my hair in warm water. I don't ever wash it in hot water. Warm water because you need to, you know, you need it to get the dirt and the oil and the stuff out of your hair. So, it's important. It's important. You leave just a little bit of conditioner in your hair. Don't rinse every bit of conditioner out of your hair that's what i typically do on my hair and what i will do i don't leave any like in the scalp i will kind of leave conditioner from you know maybe here here down and um i just do that that way it doesn't i don't run the risk of leaving too much um, especially if I've left too much in before and I've left it in all over before, you know, trial and error, you know, um, but I've done that before and it just leaves your hair looking greasy and it weighs it down. Um, so, you know, that's really not a good, a good idea. Not for me anyway. And that really, that really seems to help tame the curls once you get to the uh, stage of styling your hair. So do, but what you want to do is take it like this and just cup it like really gently you know and then squeeze it when you get to the top and then just let it all down and that's going to give you a gorgeous curl you know when you have product on your hand and you're scrunching your hair like this sometimes that can lead to the risk of your hair turning out looking like you know dried ramen noodles or cheetos or something i don't know i'm starving that's where the Cheetos thing came from. So instead of using a towel, I use a t-shirt to wrap my hair in while it's drying. Um, I actually I actually use a microfiber towel when I first get out of the shower because my hair, it, it just like, I have so much hair, it takes a really long time for me to get to a status of not just dripping water everywhere. But once it, once it dries off initially with that, I use a t-shirt. I, I will try anything once to get rid of the frizz that is a result of all the humidity in the area that I live and I tried the t-shirt thing one day and it worked beautifully. And definitely a lifesaver. Definitely. So I always let my hair dry naturally because I feel like it cuts down on frizz and I get the prettiest curl as a result out of that. But if you do dry your hair, um, with a blow dryer make sure you use a diffuser and that may be a no-brainer um, but for years I didn't use a diffuser if I used the hair dryer and it does make a huge difference um, I know when I was younger I just you know I, the attachment the diffuser I would always just like throw that to the side or put it in the box and throw it in my closet or whatever but that really is an important step if you're going to use the hair dryer I'm going for a wavy look and I've already styled my hair straight for example and if I'm in between washes and I want to you know do kind of a wavy look I'll use mousse in my hair um, because experience using a mousse actually doesn't it still makes your hair look soft and you use the uh the you know the 
cup and squeeze method on that too and you should get pretty waves doing it the that gel way. that I use in my hair it's the Tresemme bouncy curls try to use a slippery gel <laughs> with my with my curls um the thicker the gel um the more crunchy my hair tends to feel um and i love this i have used this for almost like 10 years now um i love it I use tresemme mousse as well and this is the one i will use um when i do my hair yes. waves i i like to use a mousse in conjunction with this if i'm styling curly because i put this like um from this half up so that way i don't lose any volume and it's off so in case you get too much gel um, mousse is the way to go especially when you're doing your hair wavy so thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i know i've been telling you guys i've filmed this for a really long time now and it's just the irony of me being able to film this today when i have my straight hair but so thumbs up if you um like the idea of doing of my doing the homemade makeup remover and the makeup brush holder uh, for your next subby choice. And if not, leave your request down below. Um, the channel's growing so rapidly at this point, and I really love talking to you guys, and I don't ever want to lose touch with you. And I always do try to answer comments back and everything and messages. I love talking to you guys. Um, so I've been enjoying talking to you all on Twitter so far. Um, my Twitter is almost brand spanking new. So um, it's basically what not even a month old so i'm really trying to push the twitter thing if you do have twitter if not you can always email me i know several of you choose to do that and i love talking to you that way as well um and instagram instagram too i've been talking to quite a few of you on instagram so if you um do want to follow me on any social media um my usernames are always at the end of every video and i love you guys so so much and i'll see you next time bye